Now I own four tennis skirts, three of which are from American Apparel, and here is my five word review for these bad boys. These skirts are friggin' small. Example A, size small. Example B, size medium. Example C, also size medium. And they all fit the gosh darn same. Not very size inclusive, am I right? So ladies and gents, don't feel discouraged if these don't fit your lifestyle because they're very inconsistently sized compared to our society. And um, they pretty much don't fit me. Now don't get me wrong, these are my fave, but I still find it very hard to style them because they are so short and I'm a fellow self-conscious leggy lady. But lucky for you, I'm going to show you how to style them with confidence. Now first up, this is probably the most basic way you'll find to style a tennis skirt, but I thought I'd start here and we can kind of build upon this. I've just styled it with a kind of cropped polo, is it called a polo shirt? And this pattern tennis skirt, just to add a little bit of flair compared to just a white one, but feel free to style white ones if you have them. I just don't happen to have the white one because I'm too accident prone. Then we can kind of spice it up with a jumper. Now I've added this blue jumper that kind of goes with the colour in the skirt. That's what I tend to just do when styling things is just match a colour to something in the colour of your patterned pants or something. So that's what I've done here and also this jumper is probably the cutest jumper I've ever found. It's got little turtles on it. Like this video if you want to save the turtles, am I right? Now I find styling a jumper with a tennis skirt like this is very on trend right now. Honestly, I don't quite get it because it's very, very hot here in Australia and I would wear this tennis skirt on a hot day, but I probably wouldn't wear a jumper. So I'm not really sure what kind of climate this is for, but it's fashion. You can also feel free to add any kind of accessories. I've added this pink bag and yeah, of course I got the Nikes on with this just to be very basic and be very cool, I suppose. Now another basic way of styling tennis skirts is with a turtleneck. Now it kind of looks a bit plain and boring but honestly I feel like it's like the frame. The turtleneck is like a frame that is kind of highlighting how cute the skirt is. And I've added this kind of 90s little hat on the top which I found from when I was like 4 in my wardrobe and I am just gonna continue to wear it even though I kind of look like a grandma. This gives a lot of schoolgirl vibes so I try to kind of grunge it up a little bit with these Doc Martens that I'm wearing and it kind of makes it more of a wearable look for the outside world without looking like you're skipping school. And did someone say clueless? Because that's what it's given me. Now styling a one coloured, just block coloured tennis skirt is probably a bit easier for everybody. So I've got this purple one here which probably isn't actually an easy colour to match with things. So I've gone ahead and paired it with just kind of a plain black and white top but it does have a rainbow stripe down the sides just to give it a little bit of fun pep to it I suppose. How do you even talk in these videos? I don't know. Luckily it's pretty easy to style tennis skirts with just like basic tees and everything. Um, yeah, the statement piece is the skirt and you kind of don't want to make it look too much like you're going to play tennis because I'm not ready to go onto a court and hit some balls. Now if you find that a tight top is just a little bit too much for you and you want to kind of cover up a little bit, you can always add a button up shirt. I've added this one that kind of goes with the skirt, it's the pink purple vibes, it basically makes me feel like a Barbie doll. Another idea, instead of wearing the tank, it's just wearing the button up shirt itself and kind of tying it or leaving it out, whatever you feel like, and then you've got a whole new look. Because we're all about recycling items in our wardrobe here on In The Wonder Years, sir. Oh my god, the Australian accent is terrible. Now this could be considered a lot. There's a lot of patterns going on here, but if you like me and you like to mix and match patterns, then it's a go. So here we have a red corduroy shirt, stripey tank top thing. We got the plaid tennis skirt, red socks, and yin yang Doc Martens without a lace because I uh, lost it for a second. And I honestly think this would be my outfit if I was a cartoon character or something or even just a character in Clueless, this would be my go-to look. If anything, this tells you to just experiment with lots of patterns and stuff you have in your wardrobe and just go out of your comfort zone because you may end up looking like a bad bitch. Or I don't even know if I could consider myself that but maybe more like a cute, grungy, 
teenage looking person. Now no surprises here, we have matched a colour in my skirt to my top and this time we're going Shrek inspired. Now this is a very good summer look for here in Australia. If you're in somewhere like America or Europe or Asia, anywhere that's cold right now, I would consider doing the same thing but with maybe a turtleneck or a cardigan that's tied up. And really you can match all your accessories together. See, I have matched my green socks with my shirt and it looks very put together, I think. Also, I'm not really supposed to be showing you these shoes until my announcement video of unboxing them, but uh, I just got too excited and I haven't finished that video yet, so stay tuned for that. Now, honestly, I was reading about my star sign today, and yes, I am a Taurus, and turns out one of my key colors is green, and I could have told you that without reading that. I only ever wear green, and this outfit is included in that. Now with this one I guess I'm trying to show you that you can match a lot of similar tones together as long as they have different patterns and different textures. So I've added this jumper, cardigan thing that is a different texture from the shirt and then the skirt has a different pattern on it but they're all part of the same colour tone so they kind of work together. Here we go, this is a look. Now, probably not for everybody, it kind of makes me feel like I'm a cheerleader or something, or a lollipop, who knows. But once you've tried turtlenecks with your tennis skirt, now to level up with stripy turtlenecks. Now this is a major 80s look I assume, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it except for it's bright and colourful and I hope it brightens your day. Now in contrast, here is a skater girl, see it later girl. We got the plaid skirt, we got the graphic tee and a stripy turtleneck, plus some vans. Um, definitely looks like early 2000s Avril Lavigne, but I'm living for it. This is definitely a way of wearing tennis skirts and not looking as girly as the last look. So they are quite a versatile skirt. You just need to know how to style them. Um, Honestly, I probably wouldn't skateboard in a skirt. They are very prone to going up in the wind. And yeah, I would assume that you're wearing bike shorts underneath maybe. Now this one was just an experiment to see if I could grunge up the white tennis skirt, which I think was a success. Now typically my rules with an outfit is not to really lose my waist which I have totally just done with this outfit, but it was too cute to pass up. So I've just paired it with this slouchy oversized kind of knit and put it on top of the tennis skirt here like so. Basically all the colors in the knit are a bit of the same tone as the skirt, so that's how it kind of works together. And I've also paired these yellow socks to bring the glue. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but they're like the glue, yes doing the outfit things. For some reason I just revert to 80s anytime I wear this purple skirt apparently. So I've tried to make it a very summery look here with this button down shirt with all these flowers that kind of match the tone of the purple skirt and also this kind of tube top top underneath that match my shoes. Now I feel like this is something that you can pull off on vacation but there's no vacations right now so if you like wearing vacation outfits in your home, this one's for you. Now I just whipped this one out of nowhere. I honestly hadn't planned this out. I was just like, hey, what would this look like? And it turned out okay. I've decided to match it with this gingham kind of shirt that has green similar tones to the skirt. I'm not too sure if it is, but I would still wear it. And also added this pink jacket just to give a little bit of spice. Now this one's good if you're not feeling too comfortable wearing a crop top with already this very short skirt because you're adding an extra layer that is a pop of colour and something real cute. Next we're going preppy again with this look, kind of keeping it with a lot of sun themes. I've got this sun themed belt from Maybes on Instagram and also this sun themed jumper from Ganda. And I've also paired it with some yellow socks just to match the jumper. Now I find jumpers can be a bit overpowering for me. Um, they're quite 
big and my smallest part of my frame is my upper body so I tend to try crop the jumpers by tucking it under my bra to make a crop top. Now this one's a very basic look and instead of pairing everything to the colour of the skirt, I've paired everything to the colour of my shoes. My shoes have, in fact, a lot of purple and green, so I decided to keep the outfit very purple and green and it gives me very Daphne vibes. I don't know, what colours does she wear? And lastly, let's end it on a very plummy number. Honestly, just gone for comfort with this one, got my comfiest socks and my comfiest jumper and it gives very preppy vibes yet again, you can't avoid it with these tennis skirts. It's a very laid back look that reminds me a bit of Gossip Girl or something like that, but you can pull it off in any country, city, bedroom that you plan to be in. So that my friends is how you style all the- I don't even have them with me. Shit. That <laughs> has been all the tennis skirts that I have styled for you today and hopefully it gives you some inspiration on how to style tennis skirts. No matter what kind of colour you have, you should be able to style it the same kind of similar ways. I hope it just sparked inspiration. Honestly, I don't have the white tennis skirt, which I kind of wish I had, but uh, I know I'm just going to get it dirty. So yeah, just going to be on the safe side there. Anyways, I have been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. My Instagram is at in the wonder years, so find me on there. And until next time, keep wondering.